in business linear programming helps different industries to optimize their objective functions objective functions such as profit uh, cost etc by obtaining optimal solution and this is done by taking different constraints under consideration to do so first we need to find out different variables of the problem and then formulate the problem in the form of a linear equation to understand this let us take a problem and here it is a firm manufactures two types of products a and b and sells them at a profit of rupees 20 on type a and rupees 30 on type b each product is processed on two machines g and h type a requires one minute of processing time on g and two minute on h type b requires one minute on g and one minute on h the machine G is available for 6 hours and 40 minutes while machine H is for 10 hours during every working day. And the question is to formulate the problem and to find out the number of products of type A and type B uh, the firm should manufacture for maximum profit. Let us solve it. So for the solution our first step will be to formulate the problem. We need to find out equation of objective function z we know that the objective of given problem is maximum profit let the firm should manufacture x1 amount of a type product and x2 amount of b type product for maximum profit since it is given profit on one a type product is rupees 20 and on b type product it is rupees 30 hence the total profit on A type will be 20x1 and total uh, profit on B type will be 30x2. Therefore, uh, net profit will be 20x1 plus 30x2. And this is our objective function Z. Next, we need to find out the constraints. And uh, here we have uh, working hour of machines as a constraints. Since uh, it is given that the machine G is available for 6 hours in 40 minutes while machine H is for 10 hours during every working day. So uh, here we will have two different constants for two different machines. Let us go one by one. In the given condition, we can use machine Z uh, maximum 6 hours in 40 minutes a day that is equal to 400 minutes. And it is also given that uh, type A product requires 1 minute on this machine G and type B product requires uh, 1 minute on this machine G. So uh, we'll need net 1 into x1 plus 1 into x2 time in a day for working in machine G. But the condition is we can't use the machine beyond 400 minute. That is 1 into x1 plus 1 into x2 could be equal to or less than 400 or we can simply write it as x1 plus x2 uh, less than or equal to 400 this is our first constraint similarly we can find equation of constraint for machine h since it is given that machine h is available for 10 hours only and that is equal to 600 minutes and it is also given that Type A product requires 2 minutes on this machine H and uh, B requires 1 minute on this machine H. So the equation will be 2x1 plus 1x2 less than or equal to 600 or we can simply write it as 2x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 600. Hence the problem is to find maximum value of Z equal to 20x1 plus 30x2 subjected to x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 400 to x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 600. One more thing uh, we can observe that x1 and x2 are the number of products so they can't be negative. So we can say x1 uh, will always be equal to or greater than 0 and x2 will always be equal to or greater than 0. So uh, in this way uh, we can have two more constraints. Now we will solve the problem by graphical method. Let us take x1 on x axis and x2 on y axis. Next 
will draw lines for constant equations and this will be line for x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 400 and uh, this will be the line for 2x1 plus x2 less than or equal to 600. The arrow signs in respective lines are representing that our feasible solutions are under 400 and 600 respectively. In this condition, this will be our feasible region and uh, we have four vertices representing the four feasible solutions. Since equation of our objective function is z equal to 20x1 plus 30x2, we can find values of z for different vertices one by one by putting uh, coordinates in our equation and it will be z o equal to 0, z a equal to uh, 12,000, z b equal to 10,000 and z c equal to 6,000 and it is maximum for z a that is 12,000. So point a will give us the answer in the solution for the given problem will be x1 equal to 0, x2 equal to 400 and z max equal to rupees 12,000. That is for maximum profit the firm should not manufacture any number of product of type A and it should manufacture 400 quantities of type B product in a day. Here we have done. In case any doubt, feel free to comment. This is Harish Kumar Patel and you are watching this tutorial on your e-studies. Stay on this channel, stay subscribed for more such contents. Thank you.